But there's a false equivalency going on in the coverage of this race. Their objectivity actually uh, is not objective at all. It ends up uh, playing to Donald Trump's advantage every day. In an effort to, to appear balanced, to appear objective, mistakes are absolutely being made and standards are being applied to both candidates here when Donald Trump is a different animal. He is an insurrectionist. Well, the crew over at Morning Joe on MSNBC, you know, the same crew that wanted Biden to continue running in this presidential race, despite the fact that he was suffering from clear cognitive decline. Yeah, those people, um, they're furious that journalists would have the audacity of ever reporting anything negative on the Democratic nominee, Kamala Harris, because Trump is a, he's a special threat. And so since they've decided that Trump is a very special threat, well then journalists should hide information about Kamala Harris from you. So you don't vote for Trump and definitely vote for Kamala Harris. In other, in other words, they want the media to manipulate you and do the exact opposite of journalism. Don't believe me? Well, why don't we hear co-host Mike Barnacle make his case? But there's a false equivalency going on in the coverage of this race in that Donald Trump can say whatever crazy things he wants to say about submarines and sharks and electric batteries, whatever he wants to say. And it's not really covered in the sense that it's covered describing who said it, why he said it, and who the man is, Trump, out of his mind. And always in that story, in the equivalency, the false equivalency by too many reporters and too many American newspapers, there's also, by the way, Kamala Harris changed her mind on fracking. They always throw yeah, in something yeah, like exactly. that in the coverage of the story. It's ridiculous. We don't cover the man for how dangerous he is. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got to talk about Anna Kasparian going off on Joe Scarborough for boohoo whining and crying about journalists criticizing Kamala Harris, which doesn't really happen too often, okay? But sometimes there is some attempt at journalism that is done by the liberal media, especially considering how Kamala Harris is flip-flopping on her positions, right? So as a journalist, and you're trying to inform the American people about what Kamala Harris believes, which apparently is something that Joe Scarborough doesn't believe in, right? Uh, yeah, you're gonna ask these questions about, okay, what does Kamala Harris actually believe, right? Where are her positions, okay? And Kristen Welker confronted Bernie Sanders about Kamala Harris and whether or not she's actually a progressive and why is it that she seems to be flip-flopping on these issues and Bernie Sanders admits the truth he says well Kamala is just being pragmatic and that she's in fact still a progressive despite trying to sell herself as a moderate you have described Vice President Kamala Harris as a progressive. She has previously supported Medicare for all. Now uh, she does not. She's previously supported a ban on fracking. Now she does not. These, Senator, are ideas that you have campaigned on. Do you think that she is abandoning her progressive ideals? No, I don't think she's abandoning her ideals. I think she's trying to be pragmatic and doing what she thinks is right in order to win the election. Well, let me just ask you then, big picture, do you still consider Vice President Kamala Harris to be progressive, Senator? I do. Yeah, so socialist Bernie Sanders uh, endorsing his comrade Kamala Harris as a progressive, right? She is progressive, okay? That is coming out of Bernie Sanders' mouth, okay? This is what he is declaring. So when Kamala Harris comes out and says, my values have not changed, right? Believe her, okay? So then when she turns around and she then says in the next sentence that she wants to close the border, she's going to be tough on crime, that she doesn't want to ban fracking and plastic straws, uh, do not believe her, right? Because she already told you my values have not changed, okay? So with that being said, we got to talk about Joe Scarborough, who is upset with journalists who actually point these things out, right? That Kamala Harris is flip-flopping, okay? Because he believes that it's not okay for journalists to be objective, right? Objectivity is being Trump deranged 24 seven because Trump is an existential threat to the country and the world, right? This is what he believes. So therefore, uh, you should not have uh, both sided coverage from the media. The media should be neutral. They shouldn't be objective. They should be overt Democrat party 
propagandas. And this is going to piss off Anna Kasparian. Okay, she's going to go off on Joe Scarborough. And I want to react to it. But before we get into it, we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Noble Gold. Are you worried about the future of the U.S. economy? With so much uncertainty in the air, it is natural to fret about the security of your retirement savings. However, there's one asset that stands the test of time, and that is gold. For centuries, gold has been a hedge against market volatility and economic instability. With a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments, you can harness the power of precious metals in order to secure your financial future. By rolling over your existing IRA or 401k into a self-directed gold IRA, you can enjoy the potential for long-term growth and stability. Diversify your portfolio with a tangible asset that has real value. Setting up a gold IRA with Noble Gold Investments has never been easier with its streamlined process and expert guidance. This election year, do not let the volatility and uncertainty keep you up at night. Vote for the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. And Noble Gold Investments will give you up to 10 one ounce silver Trump coins or a 10 ounce silver american flag bar if you open a qualified account go to noblegoinvestments.com now that is noblegoinvestments.com and just remember there's a risk with every investment and there's no guarantee of any kind you don't cover the man for how dangerous he is i don't know i don't know what country i'm living in but i feel like we get wall-to-wall -wall coverage about trump being a danger to this country it is incessant it is all they talk about on msnbc did he just suggest that journalists shouldn't report on Kamala Harris changing her mind on fracking? Is that not an important policy that voters should be informed about? No, and because they don't want voters to be informed, Anna. The Democrat Party thrives on ignorance, okay? They want their voters to be ignorant, okay? The more that the voters are in the dark, okay, the less that they know the better for Democrats, or at least this is how they think, because they do not respect their voters, okay? And you see that trickle down into the media where you have MSNBC just overtly being an arm of the Democrat Party. And this is why I try to tell you guys, like, I'm not BSing when I tell you that MSNBC is not a news channel, right? It's a straight commentary channel. 85% of that channel is commentary. I think they only do 15% news reporting. Right. I think it's probably even worse today, but it's just it's just an opinion channel. Right. It's basically a glorified YouTube channel. Right. That is what MSNBC has become. Right. That's what they become. And as a conservative, I'm not the only person that can see it. You also have Anna Kasparian, who is on the opposite side of the aisle. Even she can see it. Even she's like, yo, this is just straight up propaganda. And they admitted out loud that, yes, we are giving you propaganda right like we are not really trying to give you objective news coverage because we feel like objectivity is not really objectivity in the trump era right let's throw out all the rules of journalism because we hate trump right so therefore we should not have fair and balanced coverage no we must fawn over the democrats no matter what they do no matter how much they lie no matter how much their policies destroy the country no 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 we must lie on behalf of Democrats, and we must cover Trump every single day nonstop. And if you deviate from that at all, okay, then we're going to smear you, okay? This is the mindset of MSDNC, right? It's 100% Trump derangement. Even 1% objective coverage is bad, right? That, that's bad according to MSDNC. And also, is he under the impression that telling Americans the truth about where Kamala Harris stands on the issues automatically means that Donald Trump is going to win the election? Well, they don't trust the American people with the truth, Anna. They don't, okay? Democrats hate democracy, right? This is why they boohoo whine and cry about abortion being a state's issue because they hate democracy, right? They don't want voters to actually vote on the issue, okay? No, no, no. They just want voters to vote for them and then for them to make the decisions for the voters, right? And the voters don't really have a say, right? That's what they really want, okay? And in order for them to accomplish that, they have to be as deceitful as possible, right? They have to lie as much as possible in order to trick voters into voting for them because if voters knew what they actually wanted to do, then the less likely they will win, 
Okay, so yeah, this is why Democrats and the media openly just admit, yeah, we don't want to tell voters the truth. They don't need to know much about Kamala Harris or what she wants to do. Don't worry about all that. Just worry about Trump. Trump terrible. Why they lie about what Trump wants to do and then they just hide what Kamala Harris wants to do. I just... See, this is... When I started my career, when I started working at TYT back in 2007, there really wasn't like left-wing media. There was like Fox News and the right-wing media infrastructure was kind of being built. And I prided myself and the left-wing on the fact that we didn't try to manipulate audiences and we didn't try to lie to people or cover up the truth about our preferred candidates or preferred politicians. We didn't want to stoop low and do what the right wing was doing with their misinformation, with the fact that they would omit incredibly relevant, important parts of the story in order to make Republicans look good and Democrats look bad. And now we're in this awful era of conditioning audiences and readers to expect journalists to cheerlead like partisan hacks for one candidate or the other. And if you don't do it, if you don't engage in it, they get mad at you. See, now here's the thing. Anna is claiming that there's some type of equivalency between, I guess, the right wing media and the left wing media. However, when you're looking at the legacy media, Fox News versus MSNBC, Fox News actually does news reporting, right? They have quite a bit of opinion commentary, people like Sean Hannity, but he's not a journalist and he doesn't pretend to be a journalist, right? That's the difference. Over there on MSDNC, Joy Reid pretends to be a journalist. On Joy Reid's LinkedIn, the first title that she has is journalist, but she's not a journalist, okay? She's not currently, in what she currently is doing, her job, she's not a journalist, okay? There's a difference. On Fox News, they actually attempt to do journalism, right? When they have segments that are journalistic in nature, right? When they are doing news reporting, right? They attempt to do journalism. I can't say that about MSNBC at all. Okay, they don't even make an attempt. So I think that Anna Kasparian is trying to make some equivalency here. Okay, because Fox News is, you know, overtly kind of more conservative right leaning and trying to say, well, back in the day, the liberal media wasn't like Fox News. Right. And it's like, nah, I don't know. I think that MSNBC has been left wing for a long time. Okay, and I think now they've just come out and just they're more overt about it. And they just say it out loud instead of pretending you're supposed to be you're supposed to be my cheerleader. You're supposed to cheerlead for my preferred candidate. What are you doing? How dare you talk about Kamala Harris and how she went from being against fracking to now saying she's totally in favor of fracking? How dare you? The media doesn't fear monger about Trump enough. Has he considered that maybe, just maybe, the media had been fear mongering about Trump so much, so often, that Americans have become desensitized to it. Has he considered that? Has he considered the fact that Joe Biden ran his campaign almost entirely on Donald Trump is a threat to democracy and it wasn't working? Why do you think it wasn't working? This is the most brain dead argument I have heard on MSNBC and that is saying something. Because there are a lot of brain dead arguments made on MSNBC. But we're about to hear more. So Joe Scarborough argues that journalists who are trying to be objective actually end up helping Trump. So maybe don't be objective. Let's watch. Even Arlington, you've seen major newspaper outlets talk about, well, how will this impact Kamala Harris and the issue of Afghanistan after he goes? And, and he does he, a thumbs up and and pictures. Well, and and Bingo. and yeah. just uh, just acts like a brute and um, and uh, you know desecrates Arlington. There, that that's not a time to say. Well, how does it, you know? It's but again, we see it time and time again. For some reason, the mainstream media. How what are we nine years in to Donald Trump's era in American politics? Still doesn't know how to cover Donald Trump. Their objectivity actually uh, is not objective at all. It ends up uh, playing to Donald Trump's advantage. Don't be objective because it plays to Donald Trump's advantage. <laughs> Why? Because journalists want to answer a question about how Kamala Harris would handle Afghanistan, what her views on Afghanistan happen to be. Do the American voters 
have the right to know where Kamala Harris stands on those issues? Or should we be kept in the dark because Trump bad, Trump bad. That's what Joe Scarborough wants. He wants journalists to line up and say in unison over and over again, Trump bad. Because that's been real effective, right? Facts, facts, I mean, it hasn't worked, it hasn't worked. And these people, this is how you know Kamala Harris is, is losing, right? This is how you know she's losing. They're trying to turn up the Trump derangement instead of trying to put the spotlight on Kamala, right? If Kamala was the superstar that they claim that she is, why they continue to want to talk about Trump all the time, right? If Kamala Harris was the superstar, why do they continue to talk about Trump? If Kamala Harris was Obama, why do they keep talking about Trump, right? Because they want to talk about joy, right? And positivity and moving forward into the future. If Kamala Harris actually represented that authentically, if it wasn't something that was just made up and manufactured, then that's what they would be focusing on. But they don't because they know that Kamala Harris has a lot of skeletons in her closet. She's not very likable. She's very fake. And the more that she's covered, the more that she's criticized, the more she'll get exposed. So they think that the solution to that is to continue to attack Trump, right? More so than they already have, turn up the Trump derangement to another level. And it's like, it, it doesn't work anymore. You've been doing this for seven, eight years straight. The American people don't believe you. You've lost credibility, right? Because at this point, you've made it so clear that you can't be trusted as an objective source of news and information. And these people wonder why the Trump derangement doesn't work. Yeah, when you spam it enough, when you spam it too much, it becomes ineffective. You know, it's like uh, playing Pokemon, right? When you use a move to the point where you don't have any more moves anymore, then you start to hurt yourself, right? Every time you use that move, you spam it so much that you're now hurting yourself, right? That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Listen, he wants to be a cheerleader for one side. That's great, go be a cheerleader for one side. But don't sit there on your boring ass morning show where you tried to gaslight the American public about Biden's mental health and, and pass judgment on people who are trying to get Kamala Harris to answer questions on something amazing, policy. <laughs> where she stands on policy. Because there are voters out there, believe it or not, who aren't partisan hacks, right. those are the individuals who actually end up deciding elections. And they want to know where Kamala Harris stands on policy. Simply hearing Trump bad over and over again doesn't work for them. I think the American people deserve to know where both candidates stand on policies. Don't insult the intelligence of voters. And more importantly, Please don't pressure journalists to suck at their jobs by being nothing more than partisan hacks like Joe Scarborough is, like Mika Brzezinski is. It is. Yeah. So you see that you heard that, okay? Uh, Anna Kasparia, hey, can't say I disagree, right? These are the things that I've been pointing out on this channel for a long time now, especially recently, just how overtly partisan the liberal media has become right these are supposed to be people that we can go to for objective information and that's just simply not the case with msnbc at all okay i'm not even sure why they call themselves a news channel it's just not right it's a glorified youtube channel the unfortunate reality is that cnn they are really trying hard to get back to that right this is why they rehired brian stelter right cnn <laughs> tries to pretend to be journalists but they're not okay they are uh partisan hacks as well too Okay, um, and they're probably going to go in the same direction as MSNBC, especially the closer it is to the election, the more that Kamala Harris starts to lose. Yeah, they're going to go in that direction. Uh, and even some of the outlets like ABC, NBC, they're also overtly liberal as well too, right? But MSNBC, they're brave enough to come out and just tell you straight up. They don't even pretend anymore. And um, it's, it's really stunning when you hear them say it out loud, the things that we've all been saying before about them and then they just come out and just admit it that yeah yeah we don't believe in objectivity we don't believe in journalism like that's actually bad right because trump bad okay so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace